Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. We begin with our opening responses. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful. To live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. among us, God. Give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. And now we have our prayer of confession. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world.
before God with the people of God. I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we want our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We now have the response of faith. With the whole church. We affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere. We affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 145. I will praise your greatness, O God. I will bless your name forever. Every day I will praise you and honour your name without ceasing. God, you are great and deserve our praise. Your glory is beyond our understanding. Each generation shall speak of your worth and celebrate your goodness. I will meditate on your wonderful work and consider what you have done. God is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and constant in love. God's goodness and compassion are meant for all creation. God keeps every promise. God's ways are always gracious. God lifts up those who are falling and raises those bowed down. All eyes look to you, O God, who supplies every creature's need. God, whose ways are just and kind, draws near to all believers. Our mouths will sing out praise. God's name be blessed forever. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the New International Version reading from Matthew chapter 8, verses 14 to 17. When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her and she got up and began to wait on him. When evening came, many who were demon-possessed were brought to him and he drove out the spirits with a word and healed all the sick. This was to fulfil what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God.
Guide and friend of every seeking heart, you take upon yourself all that burdens our lives, our days of doubt, our divided hearts, our physical weakness, and that fear of the future which is often our companion. And you transfigure them, freeing us of all that weighs us down. Lord of the perplexed, enable us today to rediscover your amazing truth, that in your strength we can truly begin to walk on you with lightened step and clearer vision, moving from the shadows into the clear waters of your healing, gentle grace. On the second day of the month, we pray for the renewal of prayer and worship and for the Wild Goose Resource Group. We pray for the following countries, the lands and their peoples, Israel and the occupied Palestinian territories, Egypt, Lebanon, Jordan, Syria, Turkey, Cyprus and Greece. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of Highland. Gillian Cummins and Alison Holmes. John Dale and Sue Dale. Mary Duncanson. Gavin Elliott and Rachel. Simon Evans and Jill Stoner. Duncan Finlayson and Marlene Finlayson. Ionla Finlayson and Ian Sargent. Alison Jaffrey. Jim McEwen and Aileen. Christian McLean and Colin Blythe, Graham Muckett and Liz. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in German speaking regions.
Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. Ever-present God, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together. Confirm in us the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you. Amen. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will, will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that cost us nothing. nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will we'll seek, seek peace and, and pursue, pursue it. it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in the community, community, holy and one. Ha uh-huh. 